Here we go again and again and again. Hello and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. My name is Mogdog and this is my third draft in a row. <laughs> the first two drafts, the last pick has disconnected. Um, so, yay. I didn't uh, put a video up yesterday because yesterday was just super toxic. It was so fucking toxic that I just quit. And was like, I'm not playing today. Oh, I'm banning? Oakley, dokely. Um, who do we want to ban? I want to ban a noob. Team, show, pick, please, pick, please, show. No? Bye. Words. Anyway, um, good news. There is some. Looking like next week I will be able to live stream. Yeah, yeah, looks looks nice, looks nice. I'm happy. I wanna play Rexar. Who do we ban now? They're probably gonna want me to ban Asmodan. Right? Usually who people want you to ban, but I wanna ban Kel Thoughts. I'm banning Kel Thoughts. Should have banned Asmodan. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna lock in. I'm just gonna go ahead and. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So we don't lock in both our damage at the same time. Is primarily why I did that. Vanquish the weak. But anyway, yeah, what I was saying is it looks like I'm going to be live streaming next week. Uh, I had to go with... I wanted to stream on YouTube, but I couldn't get it to work. YouTube doesn't like me for some reason. Who do we ban now? They already picked a healer. Uh, they need a main tank. Diablo and Anubarak are banned. I'm going to ban uh, Gar or I'm going to ban ETC because we have nothing. To deal with him. To deal with Amash. So like I wanted to go with YouTube, but I couldn't get it to work. But Twitch seems to work. I did some testing with it. It seems to work. Um, with Heroes, anyway. <laughs> um, I'll probably be streaming Heroes anyway, though. Maybe some Sea of Thieves here and there. But Sea of Thieves, the guys I play with, they're on late. Like around midnight, so sometimes I don't get to play with them. Aside from that, you could probably expect heroes, you probably expect Sea of Thieves every now and then, and you can probably expect like Sekiro Dark Souls and stuff like that. But primarily gonna be heroes, I think. I'm really struggling to speak right now. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm scared to stream, because I'm bad at making YouTube videos anyway. Like, I, I, would, I wouldn't want to stream Sekiro just based off how the YouTube videos for Sekiro have been going. I think the average time that people have spent watching one of those is like 42 seconds, but I keep making them because I like the game. The wait is over. It's fine, though. It's fine. Alright. Here we go. So when I say yesterday was super toxic, Are your preparations I had to report one guy twice. Actions speak for me. If that gives you any indication of how bad it was. It was pretty bad. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Dragon, Shire, Rexar. It's gonna probably be Rexar versus Varian up there in the top lane. Uh, we're gonna get that one so we can do camps easier. So we're gonna be doing the hard camp up here every now and then. Send Misha up here, not eat that dunk. There we go. 
We'll let Misha help with that for a second, and then we're gonna head up to the top lane. Good kill. For the friendly team, Muradin jumping in. Jumping in with Muradin is kind of one of those things where you have to be able to just kind of feel it out. Um, you, you kind of want to wait for them to use a few of their cooldowns before you just jump in like that, right? Oh, I was going to send Misha in there, but we'll just let Misha soak this minion wave a little. Misha's going to get all that soak. We're going to back off and not let Raynor just poke Misha to death. Take control of the shrine. I'm acting on instinct. Misha, here. Bye, Raynor. So it's me versus Raynor. So if I'm gonna go in on him, I need to make sure I'm going in on him. If I'm not gonna go in on him, I can't be giving him stacks. See how he holds it? It's because he wants to get a stack. Did he go that talent? He did. Okay, so I can't be just feeding him stacks. He, he came up here to look for easy stacks. So we'll wait for this wave to die. And then we'll go on up here. We gave him some stacks there, but we took the thing. Trying to body block him with Misha. Almost had him. Uh, animal Husbandry, coming up. Raynor will be back here in just a moment. Oh no, he's mid. Well, while they're doing that, I'm gonna go over here and grab our hard camp. So we're not going to get the dragon right now, unless they kill some people bot. Um, so I think getting this hard camp is the best option right now. Apply some pressure on this top lane, try to pull him away from the dragon. Try to force a response, is what I want to do. Back up to top we go. We can get some push in up here. While they're all in bot lane. We can push this up, maybe kill the fountain. We just gotta be on the lookout for like Varian or something to come up here. Yep, they're still pushing bot. We're going to lower the cooldown of Misha's charge. Wow, they're just letting me free push. This is great. Kill the fountain, quickly. And we're getting kills. This is awesome. If we get the fort as well, this is ideal. Time to mount up. I figured they would come, I just didn't know from where. So that's why I was mounted. If they came from over here, I'd have a better chance of getting away. I gotta stay up here though, because Muradin's probably gonna try to come and get the, the thing. Go on up there, Misha. They don't know what to do. Oh, Misha's gonna die though. I'm not careful. Yep, she died. I held it as long as I could. We just couldn't get the dragon. This way. It's fine. 
I'll get it back in no time. Send Misha right on up in there. Let her grab the thing. Help me, Karazim! Nice work. My dudes. Alright, we're going to unleash the boars. This will help us lock down Raynor. I took a lot of damage on Rexar. I risked my animal husbandry stacks right there for that. Um, but it's worth, I think. I'm returning to base camp. Our paths converge. Send Misha to soak for a moment. I have no health right now. I could have used a heal there, Karazim, buddy. Don't punt her. I need to heal badly. We did get the dragon, though. We are crushing it. Actually, right now. Kill command against Raynor is one of the strongest things. Because he can't do anything about it. I really would love some healing, but Karazim's in the dragon right now. Dodging the dunk with Misha. We'll kill this wall real quick. Oh, I missed the stun there. Get him, Misha. We're gonna have Raynor over here on me, probably here in a second. He could kill me if he wanted. Skarazim doesn't heal me. I can't heal myself, Karazim. Alright, we're gonna increase the damage of Misha's charge so we can try to do more to Raynor. Like, enemy team gets a Raynor, don't underestimate him. A lot of people do. A lot of people just kind of ignore him because he's Raynor, right? He doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But he's a huge deal. <laughs> he does a ton of damage if you let him. Uh, I'm going over here. You guys are in danger. Mostly coming over here so I can do this and then grab my fountain. Friendly team decided to go grab other camps. Good idea. And we'll just keep the pressure on. I'm gonna not capture this one for a minute. Wait for the shrines to be up. This way. We'll leave Misha up here to watch it. I think Varian's coming. We'll grab it. Another chance to prove yourself. Do not squawk. Misha. Yeah, you, you, you know where that Twin Blades Varian's very good. But Like, he's, he's good at chasing, but he is not an unmitigated god like he used to be. You can't just go and try to 1v3 against Misha, Rexar, and Stitches. Like, it's not going to work out for you. Kill the walls, because it's free vision for the enemy team that I don't want them to have. Can we get a hook?
Oh, they grabbed a dragon. None of us noticed. I should probably stay up there and kill that fort, but... Let's keep chasing this. Exceptionally done. Never mind. Back him out. Yeah, let him dunk. It's fine. Good double. Making our way down. We'll go ahead and unleash the boars. I'm just gonna head on up to the top lane, kill their keep. They've got that Muradin, no problem. Come on, Misha. Um, primal Intimidation coming up. Look at that, just slow him. He can't do anything. Uh, with Primal Intimidation, I have two slows, so I can hit him with the Eagle for a slow. And I can hit him with Primal Intimidation for a slow. Oh, back off. I'm waiting for the dunk before I do anything and getting Misha healed up some. We'll just back off. We'll leave Misha parked right there. So just in case some enemies are coming from up top, try to bypass the minions, we'll be able to stun them out. Yeah, I'm just unleashing the boars often. Um, because it's so strong. Oh boy. Jump to me. Become the dragon knight and claim vengeance for my family. Misha took a little bit too much damage right there for for that. All right, I'm gonna head mid. I'll try to get the dragon. Me and Misha can do it. Hold the minions back, Misha. This realm's rebirth. Just push the minions up with me. I'm actually gonna head down to down here because they're already here at mid, so I'm just waiting for my team to get with me here, is really what I'm doing. going on Raynor. Keep them back. Come back, Misha. Why aren't you coming back? Misha died. Misha's almost up. That was a pretty predictable storm bolt. I must retreat. Hold the line. I'm gonna head down here. Yep, I'm going. Okay, 
Look at Varian. He's gonna wind up dead again. Oh. I think we go for their giants. No, they're already on them. Kill command is up. It won't be long before the shrines are ready for the taking. I'm not gonna chase that. Cause um we don't have our team and he does. But we did some good damage on him. Right there. We're gonna save our kill command for either an Ariel kill or a Raynor kill from now on. Unless we just need it to get away. Avenge my husband. Uh oh, Jaina. And destroy your enemies. I've got the scent. Misha. That's game. No one can stop us. Misha, here. Your has been obliterated. Violence is always the answer. Misha. Damn. That was just destruction. I'm gonna blur out this dude's comment. MVP. I'm gonna black that out. It's not a nice comment. She did great. She did great. I vote for you. Did it vote? Did it? I didn't... I don't know if my vote went, but I voted for you. Okay, know that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see, 58k hero damage. Not too shabby. Felt like I did a lot less than I than I actually did. Uh, 69,000 tanked. It's pretty good. Stitcher with 72,000 tanked. But Cassio with the 86,000 hero damage. Big damage. Followed by Asmodan with 72. Then um, Raynor with 51 and Jaina with 33. How many times has Raynor broken 100k hero damage, right? Unmitigated Raynor can break 100k hero damage easy. Easy. Without breaking a sweat, he can break 100k hero damage. You have to pressure the Raynor. You have to pressure those auto attackers. You can't just let them go ham. Like, mage stuff, mages, you can dodge their... For the most part, you can dodge mage effects, right? The harder ones would be like Kel'Thuzad, right? Where he, where he puts the chain on you and then you have to like outrange whatever he's trying to chain you to. Um, or hope he misses, right? <laughs> so that would be one of the harder mages to dodge. But for the most part you can dodge mage effects. But you can't really dodge auto attacks. So you have to keep them from auto attacking as much as you can. Slow that attack speed if you can. Pressure them, keep them where they're running. Like if you can keep them running away where they're... Like if you get them low, low enough health... Where if they try to step back into the fight, if they get hit by anything, they're going to die. They, they effectively stop doing damage. And, and I just think that's a real important thing to note. We also did every camp in the game, for the most part, except for like two. Again, this is a theme. <laughs> the team that loses doesn't do camps, ever. I'm curious how many stacks Asmodan got up to. I didn't pay attention to that. I'm sure he had a lot, though. I'm sure he got a lot of freebies off of me and Misha. Um, did I have zero deaths? I had zero deaths. Yeah, boy. Animal husbandry. Turns you into a tanky, tanky boy. 
with Rexar. As long as you don't die. <laughs> anyway, talents wise, this is the build that I went this time. I went with the aspect of the beast paired with the dire beast so I could get heavy burst damage on Ariel and Raynor. Basically what I was doing, um, use it as an initial stun, like an initiator, kind of open up the fight, maybe set up a kill, and then the next one I would wait until Ariel used her heal. And then I would either try to hit her or Raynor. One of the two. Or both. Um, because I was going to take them down to about half their life with one, one of these things fully stacked up. It was great. It worked like a charm. Karazim was a Transcendence Karazim. You don't see those super often. You usually see like Insight or uh, Iron Fist, typically. And he kind of played like an Iron Fist Karazim. Like, for this Karazim, you, you can get equ equivalent healing on all builds of Karazim, except for maybe Insight. Like an Insight that's just allowed to do, just allowed to punch, can outheal any other form of Karazim, obviously. But most of the time, Insight Charisms aren't just allowed to punch. So I think he would have been... I think it would have fit more with his playstyle to go Iron Fist. And it wouldn't have really hurt his healing any... at all. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I'm not a lot to say about this match, and I stumbled around on my words a lot. Anyway. Next week, I will be attempting to stream. I'll put a link to the Twitch down below. There's nothing there for you to look at. I don't even, I didn't even upload a picture for the profile, whatever. It's got the default. I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> I'm too busy trying to make sure it's gonna work. <laughs> um, yeah, I do want to make some art though for the, for like the channel and stuff. Cause like the stuff I have, the, the profile pictures from EVE Online and the Mogdog banner is like all Dark Souls out, and I haven't played any Dark Souls on the channel. I've tried, but it didn't work. So, considering that it, the name comes from like Norse mythology, I'm thinking about doing some like rune stuff for the banner. I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, I'll put a link to the Twitch in the in the description, so you can go and do whatever you want to do with that, um, and maybe look out for when the streams happen. I think what I'm going to try to do is start streaming at. 12 o'clock noon Eastern time for heroes and that'll leave time open later for me to eat and whatever and then maybe do some streaming with um, Sea of Thieves but I have other bugs that I have to work on figuring out with Sea of Thieves before I can start streaming that anyway a little bit of Rexar play I'm gonna keep this one even though it was extremely one-sided typically I try I will move on to another match and try to get another more balanced game, like more fair in kills wise. Uh, where at, I like the games where at the end of the match, you're in a team fight, and you know that whoever wins this team fight wins the match. Those are the games that I really like. Um, but you don't get those very often anymore. You really don't. And this is one of the rare cases where I got to play Rexar in Storm League. So I'm gonna be keeping it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.